guys welcome to my channel today is wednesday and as it's wednesday i um, had a dream last night tuesday to make samosas so i'll be making vegetable samosas today and i will show you the video of how to do it so let me show you the ingredients let's get to it my ingredients are uh, one potato finely diced one onion finely diced i didn't cry when i was cutting these so i'm really proud of myself one carrot finely diced as well one celery finely diced two te two teaspoons of curry powder uh one teaspoon of um black pepper 100 grams of frozen peas um some garlic granules which i will measure out we'll be using um one teaspoon of garlic garlic garnish today and um we'll also be using um one tablespoon of vegetable oil and some olive oil to fry our samosas i've got 225 grams of plain flour there and two uh teaspoons of um sea salt 100 ml of uh vegetable stock i use oxo and maggie cube to make this what you want to do first is you want to get a tablespoon of um vegetable olive oil put it into your um saucepan and you want to heat this up and you want to fry your onions and you want to fry your celery for five minutes when it's then um browned you then want to add your uh, one teaspoon of garlic put my uh gas cooker to the lowest heat there is which is there and this recipe guys is so amazing because it's all your vegetables uh from your fridge you're using to cook it so you know you can't go wrong with a bit of vegetable uh samosa this recipe is completely vegetarian which is great and um one thing i love about it is that uh, because it completes part of your five a day uh with uh, vegetables being used uh you can simply freeze the rest of the samosas this recipe makes 24 samosas guys so i'm going to freeze the rest which i'm really happy to do and uh samosas are lovely because you can actually have them with like curry chicken curry beef curry king prawn curry mm. and then um as it makes 24 you can also use it for parties yeah on to the next step add your uh one teaspoon of garlic granules in fry this uh for just a minute now mix in your spices which is your two teaspoons of curry powder and one teaspoon of um, black pepper and uh, fry this for five minutes hey guys if any of you want um, the ingredients uh, for any of the food that I've cooked um, on my channel and posted please let me know because I've been writing all my ingredients down so I can you know just send them to you or email them to you so every little helps this is what the onion, garlic, uh, curry powder, black pepper and um, celery looks like in a pan. Doesn't look lovely. So this part of uh, making our samosas is for our Five filling. Five minutes um, is up. So now we can add our potato. Carrot. Peas. You want to stir this in all together into your onion mix and uh, put uh, your vegetable stock into this saucepan and let it simmer for 30 minutes. Have a look at it, guys. Isn't it amazing? Just colourful. Uh, so now pour in your um, stock stir this in as well and then like i said let it simmer for 30 minutes covered to show you a video guys of what it looks like our uh, filling it looks amazing my kitchen smells nice so um here and there you want to just stir 
your filling up so you don't want it to stick to the bottom of the pan um, just stir it lightly and doesn't look it looks lovely doesn't it so as our filling is cooking I thought to go ahead and make our pastry so what you want to do your 225 grams of plain flour you want to sift this into a bowl and mix in your uh, sea salt as well I'll be right back now that you have um, sifted your flour and uh, mixed in your salt you want to use your um, one tablespoon measuring spoon to measure two tablespoons of uh, vegetable oil and add 100 ml of cold water into your flour to make a dough I'll be right back this is our dough to make your dough it really helps if you use a wooden spoon just to bring it together so what you want to do now you want to put some flour onto your worktop and knead this dough for five minutes I'll be right back our dough after I have kneaded it so what you want to do now is roll it into a ball which I have done and you want to get some glim film and um, cover it and let it sit in a room temperature for 30 minutes this is what our samosa filling looks like guys um, as you can see it's coming together well it's important to keep stirring each time because you don't want it to stick to the bottom of the pan um, samosas are really good for kids actually because it encourages them to eat the vegetables going to the next step guys I have uh, poured the um, cooking oil into a wok because my wok's the best uh, you know saucepan I have to fry things like churros and samosas so I've also cut a rectangular uh, piece of brisket paper so I can roll out uh, each samosa whilst we do it so stay tuned let's get rolling and making the samosa for our dough we want to cut this into 12 pieces I'll do that I'll be right back oh your 12 pieces should look like this and I've got one out ready to make into a samosa so I'll show you what the tip is what I'm going to do is roll each ball out into a circle like so you want to get your knife and you want to half this then you want to get your pastry brush just to wet the sides like so then you want to this what you want to do you want to just get a teaspoon of uh, filling put it right in there then I made one earlier you want to move your edge fold it through this way upwards and seal each side Repeat the step until you have your um, 24 samosas, guys. There you have it, guys. So far, I have made 14 samosas. So I've still got um, another eight more to go. I'll be right back. And um, with your oil, we want to put it on medium heat so we can fry the samosas for eight to 10 minutes. So this is our samosas, guys um they look lovely look at them golden brown so you want to fry them like i said for eight minutes until they are golden brown so just get um a spoon and keep turning them each time it helps if you set your alarm during this time okay while you're frying them i'm so proud of myself what's our first batch guys of samosas look at them they look absolutely amazing so I've put the odd second batch in it. It really helps if you have a plate with a um, kitchen towel on. That way the rest of the oil can drop off on them. These are absolutely amazing. <laughs> um, I waited about five minutes before I could eat one and it was so nice. I just cut one open so I can show you guys the filling on the inside. Oh, amazing guys. Just lush.